Hi guys, so in this lesson we're going to look at the properties of the scalar product. Now I've written here in red different properties. Um, as you know, that means they are not in the formula booklet. This is what you get in the formula booklet, you don't get this. But a lot of this is actually quite intuitive. If you think of like a, the scalar product is just this times this plus this times this plus this times this, then kind of obviously v dot w equals w dot v. And then u dot v plus w would equal u plus no, u dot v plus u dot w. If you just want to try and work out a few of these, you'll see that it's that it's very um, it's very clear. K in this case is uh, is a scalar, so a scalar times a vector dot another vector is equal to the scalar times the dot product of, of the two vectors. We've come across this one before, v dot w equals zero for, this is my perpendicular sign, so when they're perpendicular, the dot product equals zero. When they're parallel, this is parallel, the dot product of v and w equals the product of the magnitude of the vectors. Now I'll just explain very quickly why that's the case. If cos of theta equals a dot b, a dot b in the middle, over magnitude of a times magnitude of b, well, if you've two vectors that are parallel, what's the angle between them? Like, what's the angle between this and this, if you put them right beside each other? Well, it's zero. There is no angle, because they're basically the same line, or the same direction. So, if the angle is zero, what's the cosine of zero, or the cos of zero, is one. So you're left with one equals a dot b over a magnitude of a times magnitude of b, and then that gives us the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b when I multiply across is equal to a dot b. So this is four, four parallel vectors. So that's where this comes from. And then this comes from, this basically is the same rule because it's v dot v, that means the same vector, the dot product of the vector and itself is the magnitude squared, because if you have the two vectors that are the same, like this and this, these are the exact same vectors, well, they're parallel also, so this applies to that too. Okay, that's basically it. I think this is all pretty straightforward. It's, it's, it works out how you, how you would expect. However, um, they can obviously give you quite complicated questions. This one is fairly it's not it's not that straightforward let's put it that way okay so part a i'm going to do two i think i have two examples for you to um, on this so if a is a unit vector perpendicular to b so i see perpendicular straight straight away i'm like okay that's important a is perpendicular to b find the value of a dot 2a minus b right so i'm going to write that out a dot 2a minus 3b so i know using my properties of scalar products and look I don't I don't even feel the need to go and look at this but the this multi multiplies out as you would expect it to do so you get 2 a dot a minus 3 a dot b that's it now it says if a is a unit vector perpendicular to b find the value of this so if they are per if um, a and B are perpendicular, the dot product equals zero. So as soon as I see that, I'm like dot product equals zero. So this is zero. And it says a unit vector. So A dot A is going to be the magnitude of A squared. That comes from this one. Minus three times zero. This is just zero because it's they're perpendicular. A and B are perpendicular. And then a unit vector means it has length one. So it's just two times one squared, which is two. So that's it. So arguably, that wasn't that difficult. B, if P is a unit vector making a 45 degree angle with vector Q and P dot Q is three root two, find the magnitude of Q, right? That seems somewhat confusing. However, um, we're looking at two vectors and an angle between them. So I'm definitely gonna need this formula. The cos of theta is equal to, let's go with P dot Q over magnitude of P, magnitude of Q. It says P is a unit vector. Um, Q, it doesn't say is a unit vector. It says the angle between them is 45 degrees. Now note that 
they're using degrees here. So sometimes for vectors, you'll see degrees. Sometimes you'll see radians, but often it's degrees. So this is equal to p dot q. Now, they tell us p dot q is 3 root 2. So that's easy. And then they say p is a unit vector. So p, the length of p is just 1, and the magnitude of p is 1. And so it's just 1 times um, 1, I'm going to put that in a bracket, 1 times the magnitude of q. So look, I actually have a an equation with only one unknown, which is the thing I'm trying to find, the magnitude of q. So this is actually not too bad either. So this is going to be, let's just go over here, cost of 45 is 1 over root 2 equals 3 root 2 over the magnitude of q. Cross multiply, the magnitude of q is equal to 3 root 2 times root 2, which is 3 times 2, which is 6. There we go. Um, yeah, it's not not necess not necessarily that that difficult, but a little bit tricky and confusing the first time you see it. Okay, this is a past paper question. Consider the vectors O A equals A, O B equals B, and O C equals A plus B. Show that if A. Okay, I like to when I when you can, I like to draw out something, so or draw out the diagram. So. It, this is A, this is O A, so this is O, this is A, and this is um, O A is equal to little a. And then I have a, I have a B. Now the length of A, the magnitude of A is equal to the magnitude of B. So let's go with that. But they're the same. So these are the same magnitude. And this is point B. It then says. Um, o C is A plus B. So it's A plus B. So what we get when this hap this is going to give us a parallelogram. This is a parallelogram because A plus B, um, A plus B is the same as B plus A. So this is going to give us a parallelogram, but this is point C. So that's point B. That's point A, that's part, point A, B, C, and 0. Fine. Show that if the, if magnitude of A and magnitude of B are the same, then this equals 0. Here, let's do that first. So um, obviously one of the things they're testing here is that you are OK with the fact that um, using the scalar product, using the properties of the scalar product, this becomes a dot a, so just like you'd multiply out two uh, to, um, binomials, like you, the way you'd expand the bracket. So it's a this times this, plus this times this, so minus a dot b, plus this times this, plus b dot a, minus this times this, so minus b dot b, equals a dot a, is the magnitude of a squared. a dot b equals b dot a, so minus a dot b plus b dot a, minus a dot b plus b dot a equals zero. They cancel if you like, so I'm left with this minus the magnitude of b squared, um, because b dot b is the magnitude of b squared. It then says, if these are equal, show that this equals zero, well this equals zero, as, I'm just going to write here, as the magnitude of A equals the magnitude of B, just to be clear why you're doing that. Because it says show. If they say show, make sure you show. What does this tell us about the parallelogram O, A, C, B? So, okay, this is an interesting one. This, this vector here is A. This is A plus b, this vector. Now what's the vector? Because what it's telling us is a plus b and a minus b, this vector and this vector are perpendicular. Because when the dot product is zero, they're perpendicular. So a plus b and a minus b are perpendicular. What's a minus b? Well, a minus b, a minus b is um, b a. If you remember, look, B, 
A. Remember this rule that I once told you was super duper important. B A is A minus B when these are position vectors. So this is um, A minus B. That's the A minus B vector. So basically what it's telling us, and he says, what does it tell us about the parallelogram? Well, look, the, this is, let me complete the parallelogram. This is your parallelogram there. What it's telling us is that the diagonal, the diagonals of the parallelogram are perpendicular. So this, it tells us, let me call that part A, or part B, if you like. Um, it tells us diagonals, diagonals of parallelogram are perpendicular perpendicular okay that's it um, as I say you will be able to find difficult challenging questions on the properties of scalar products um, but certainly the main thing you need to know is all of these so it, it they they work as as you would expect them to do which is not the case for the cross product which we're going to do in um, an upcoming lesson I'll be, I'll be giving you a lot more warnings about properties of, of the cross product because it's sometimes it's it gets a bit strange but the properties of, of the scalar product work as you would expect them to work these these three here um, come up all the time so make sure you understand that v dot w is zero when they're perpendicular and v dot v is equal to the magnitude of v squared okay that's it um see you in the next lesson